Hi, I'm Jen, and I'm a fantasy copywriter at usomuch.com, and I use fantasy in my copy by tapping into people's dreams and desires to show them how your product and service makes their fantasies come true. And I think the best way to make your fantasies come true is to write it down, because words make it real. So I'm continuing my video series about how to use fantasy in the copy on your website sales page. Now again, the goal of your website sales page is to get the customer to keep reading down the page and then click the buy button at the end, right? And so fantasy is very, very important to use as an element here because you really want to tap into their desires so you could, they will keep reading the words on the page and lead them all the way down until they do click that buy button, right? So let's review all the elements that I use when I am constructing a website sales page. And those are a headline, a customer focused message, subheadlines, bullet points, a call to action, flow, and optional extras such as a guarantee or testimonial, that kind of thing. So today we're going to talk about subheadlines. And if you haven't already seen my video on headlines, I highly encourage you to watch that first because there's a lot of elements in there that we're going to be talking about. Because as you can imagine, a subheadline is very similar to a headline. The main difference is is that the subheadlines are really meant to build in the flow. And again, if you haven't seen my flow video, watch that too. So um, basically, the subheadlines will really be a, sort of like a mini headline for the different sections on your page. So so you really want to grab them with their fantasy. You want to show them how your product and service is going to make their dreams and desires a reality. And the key here is really is to continue to pique their curiosity because the subheadlines really help make the page so much more readable. They really help make the flow, but they're a great little place to continue to kind of highlight little important points about your product and service. You know, what what are you promising? What's the fantasy that you what's the fantasy that you're going to deliver to them, right? So, um the sub headlines continue to do that just like the headline did, but they do that in strategic places along the way that are obviously relevant to the copy that is in the body of your page. And just like with the headlines, you want to make sure that you are thinking about who your customer is and you're talking to them in details about who they are. You want to talk to them about what their fantasy is and making sure you're addressing that with the promise or the curiosity statement that's in your subheadline. And then you also want to make sure you're addressing how they want to feel. And as I mentioned, with the subheadlines, you really want to help increase the flow. And one of the things that really helps with the flow is that if someone were to skim through the page, they could still get some really important points out of the copy that's there that they're skimming. And people are going to be much more likely to skim the, the headline and the, and the subheadlines, right? So if you can, when you're outlining your sales page, you want to make sure that the, the subheadlines can almost tell the story if someone were to just to scan and read the headline, the subheadlines on their own. So just think about that when you're, when you're crafting your copy for your page, is go back and read those subheadlines and can someone kind of scan through and get a good idea about the fantasy that you're delivering to them them by just reading those. And now I have one final tip for you about subheadlines, and this is something that I do a lot and it works really great. So when I'm crafting the copy for a website sales page, I will come up with a bunch of different headlines, often 25, 30 headlines that really convey what the whole page is about, right? And what I've often found is that I will fine tune and fine tune that headline and sometimes I'll go back and even change it completely after I've written the page to kind of re better reflect what the page is all about. But I'll often use some of those headlines that I wrote for the headline as subheadlines because some of those important points come up later throughout the copy. So that's a little tip that I've used a lot and it's super helpful and even if you don't use the exact headlines as your sub headlines, they really help kind of trigger your brain with ideas that will really work throughout your page. So I wanted to show you really quickly a time when I did exactly that. I wrote down a bunch of uh, headlines as an idea for my sales page and then I ended up going back and using a completely different headline but used a lot of different sub headlines from the headline ideas that I originally came up with. So the company that I did this for was a company called Last Minute Training. I was part of a really cool project with Evan Carmichael and his team to help last minute training come up with um, a whole new website page and some branding all around his one word which is delightful and they're a really cool company because that what they are is they're kind of like a way for you to outsource your training if you're a hiring professional uh, HR manager or training professional and you need some training and you got to figure out where to go get it they will do all the research for you and figure it out and all you have to do is call them and, and they'll get you what you need so you can get your people trained so anyway let me just show you real quick um, the headlines that I used from the sub 
of headlines that I used from the headlines that I came up with for this project. So you can see here the variety of headlines that I drafted as possible headlines for this sales page. And what I ended up choosing later on was completely different, but I did use the one that's highlighted in red there. Yes, you too can save time, save headaches, and save your sanity while scheduling training as a subheadline in the copy. And here you can see that same subheadline in the draft of the website page itself. And as always, continue to think about how you can make your customers' fantasies come true. Think about what their dreams and desires are, what they want to do, where they want to go, who they want to become, because all of that is so important when you're writing the, all the copy in your um, website sales page. If you want to know more about me and my fantasy copywriting, you can find me online at yousomuch.com. Thanks so much, and don't forget to write down your own fantasies because words make it real.